Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here today to continue our treatment, those of our preparation exercises for ascension. Many are asking themselves, do I do it? Don't I? I just tell you, do what your heart tells you. No one is forced to do anything, and I'm not here forcing you to do anything. Everyone does what their heart tells them, whatever resonates with your heart. Do it or not. No problem, I'm still here loving everyone the same way. I'm not going to frown at anyone who isn't doing it. This does not exist for us. We do not judge you, therefore our love does not decrease or increase if you do or do not do. There is no such feeling between us. I'm going to talk a little about the progress of the process. Everything is moving forward. A lot is happening on your planet, not just where you live. It's happening everywhere. Many ships are being spotted around the world. Galactic beings are starting to show off a little more often, but the expressions of astonishment are still numerous. Those who are awake, and whose minds are higher, take pleasure in seeing them and are ecstatic. They are grateful for such an honor of being able to participate in that moment, but for the most part, they just exude fear, distrust, and dread. And this is not good. It is for this reason that these same ships have not yet appeared all at once. Imagine if that happened. It would be widespread hysteria, chaos would ensue on the planet, as some leaders would insist on using this as a means of maneuver, to start wars and incite the people to be against these beings. So you can see that nothing can be done in an untimely, disorganized manner. Everything will happen in its own time. Yes, there will be a day when you will see them in the heavens, and you will clap your hands, they will shout with joy and joy, because you will be sure that they are here to help you, and not to harm you. That day is not far away, but it is not yet the time. Many of you have yet to open your minds, believe that they are here to help you and not for any other purpose that they want you to believe. For a long time, the cinema you see has made a point of showing these beings as dominating, enslaving beings, who come here just to kill you to explore your planet, to dominate the planet, and this has become very ingrained in your minds. But this entire process was very well orchestrated and worked on by those who wanted to keep you enslaved. So, that's why there is this absurd dread inside your hearts, because that's how you saw them. With some exceptions, you had some films where you had another perspective, but they weren't very successful. I wonder why? Why were they unsuccessful? Because they were massively criticized, and then they mysteriously went offline. Look for these films. They have very interesting films. Stop seeing these others where galactic beings come here and destroy your planet. I'm just going to tell you one thing, if that were true, you would have ceased to exist a long time ago, because not only of good-natured beings, there is the universe. The universe has beings of all types, there are those who want to spread evil, and there are those who want to spread good. Then you would have been destroyed a long time ago. But you ended up being enslaved by those who wanted to destroy you. So they didn't let anyone else get here, not out of benevolence, but out of arrogance. This planet is ours and no one will touch it. If anyone has to destroy him, it's us. Not anyone from outside. So my brothers, get this out of your hearts. No one is here to destroy you, quite the opposite. As I have already said, they came to fight for you, to set you free, and this is what was achieved. There is very little left for total freedom. But what is this total freedom? This total freedom will be the fifth dimension, where no you will no longer have any feelings of evil or violence. Any other low vibration feeling does not resonate in this dimension. Then there will be total freedom. Neither the beings that are here and that enslaved you will be able to live there, because they do not resonate with that dimension, nor will those that continue to vibrate in this range. I have already said it and I repeat it to you, only those who have love in their hearts will go there, and those who leave behind any and all feelings of low vibration. Anyone who doesn't resonate like that won't go. I'm not fooling anyone. I've been saying this for a long time now. And not just me and other channels, 
and other people say the same things. Look for other channels and you will hear exactly the same thing, because we are all speaking the same language. Anyone who does not resonate only with love will not go to the fifth dimension. This is right. This is what will happen. And there is no way, there is no middle ground. Ah, I only have a little bit of love, but I know that I will, right? I have a little. No, 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 either you have a lot, or you have nothing. Either you resonate only love or you have nothing. A little is not enough. So you try to deal with all those feelings that are still trapped inside, and get those dirty clothes off of you, or you won't get there. While you think that everything I'm saying is nonsense, many others are changing and are ready to win that ticket, while you will get the other ticket, for the other tram, because you are not going there. Be sure of this. Those who doubt, those who don't believe, those who think that everything that is being said is nonsense, are already with, at least they are hanging on the tram, almost getting a seat. So my brothers, the choice is yours. It's not me, it's not us who are choosing who goes and who doesn't. There is no choice for us. The choice is all yours. The choice is all yours. So we are very calm. We are just waiting for your little hearts to shine, because those who have a shining heart will win the ticket to the fifth dimension. Now those whose hearts are just a bright dot, yes, I'm sorry, go to another line. The tram is nearby. Several have been leaving every day, and packed with people, but one will arrive that will be a little bigger, which will take a lot of people at the same time. So those who remain until the end will no longer have a seat. They will all be cluttered. This is to avoid missing the tram. It's my brothers, I'm trying to make things like this, as light as possible, so that you understand. But there's not much to understand it's either bull or bull. There is no middle ground. I explain again. We do not see you physical bodies. For us, you are points of light, with a larger point of light in the middle, which is your hearts. Some of you have such bright hearts that we don't even see what's around us, we only see the heart. These already have their ticket guaranteed, purchased and issued. Nothing will stop them from going to the fifth dimension. Now there are those whose hearts are sometimes big and sometimes small. There are days when the light is enormous, there are days when the light is small, but they are going through the lessons they have to go through, and they will learn to keep the light high. These two will win the ticket. Now there are those in which the little point of light in the middle is so tiny that it is surrounded by a dark atmosphere, because that tiny point is just the divine spark that keeps them alive. We almost don't even see these he almost doesn't even see it. Firstly because it is shrouded in a dark mist, secondly because it shines very little. So my brothers, this is how we see you, either you are light, or you are shadow. That simple. There is no doubt about who you are, either you shine or you are dim. Whoever shines, often the heart is not shining so much, but it shines, this one has a huge chance of going, now who is just a shadow the chances are very small, unless you make a radical change, to start emanating light. I could say, it's not impossible, but it's too hard. Because time is running out. You no longer have all the time in the world. Whoever had to shine, already shone. Whoever had to be a shadow is already a shadow. So my brothers, this is how the process is. Whoever is shining is already winning the ticket. Whoever is a shadow already has the ticket to the other side. So let's move on to our second exercise. The first was to drink water, and be ready for ascension. This second one is as simple as the first. You will write your name on a piece of paper and you will place under your name all those you want to be with you in the fifth dimension. Wow, my archangel, but there are a lot of people. No no. Come on, let's limit this a little otherwise you'll want to put the whole planet. You will place those who live in your homes and who have not yet awakened. This is happening to the vast majority of you. You are awake, understand everything, believe, but those around us, no. 
so let's start helping them. You can reach, for example, beyond your homes, to your children who are not with you, their children's families. Only. It is not the family of your daughter's husband, nor the family of your son's wife. It's your children and the family inside their home. That's only how far you will get. Okay, so let's go up a little more. You can reach your parents and your grandparents. Right. Ah, and my brothers, my archangel? My brothers? Children, in every family, we are providing one, who awakens. Practically, we cannot say that they are all, but practically in most homes there is always one person who is awake. So, yes, you can include your brothers, but try to find out if he is not awake, because if he is, there's no need to say it, because he'll be doing the same thing for his family. Somehow it will get to him. Do not worry. So, reviewing, you will write to the top, your parents, your grandparents, and whatever else you have, your children, your children's family only, and your siblings. If any of these are awake, do not add them to the list. Ah, but I don't know if they are awake. So put it on. I want only those of blood directly linked to you. Did you understand? Please don't add friends and don't add neighbors. Ah, but he's a very good friend of mine, almost like a brother. It's not blood. Please, we are messing with families. You will then understand why you are doing this. You will understand. For now the closest families. Then we will go a little further. Let's go slowly. You will make this list, put your name, and you will make this list, on white paper, written in pencil and by hand, with everyone's names. Children included. Very good. You will take this paper, fold it, and place it under the glass every night. Be careful not to get the paper wet. You will put it under the glass. It's as if you become responsible for everyone around you. And that's what we want, right? So there it is. This is the second exercise. Very simple. Are you going to put it under there? Oh, and if the paper tears, will the paper get wet? Make another one, no problem. Make another one. The important thing is that it is always under the glass. And wait for the next exercises. I am Archangel Michael. And I am here always ready to help each of you in this moment of transition.